<laughs> so what, what, what was your first article on? Um, the first one I wrote was on going freelance. And I wrote it when I was just about to, just starting to go freelance. And um, it was great because it, um, it made me do the research for the job that I was about to do that maybe I wouldn't have, um, wouldn't have done if I hadn't, you know, I wouldn't have done it as thoroughly if I hadn't thought of writing an article about it. Right. That was good. But um, a really nice thing about it was that after I wrote the article, I had some emails from people who'd read it. And one of them asked me um, for some advice because he was thinking of doing another qualification right. and wanted to, um, was wondering what I thought about the merits of doing the Delta or an MA. And so we had a nice email exchange. And it got me thinking that that was the perfect premise for another article. <laughs> yes. So yes. Um, I wrote that article up and uh, that t also took a, quite a lot of research. It was interesting as well and it was good for me professionally because um, I did the Delta several years ago and it's now obviously changed and there's a, the new the new one, modular one has come in. So it forced me to find out about that, which I hadn't actually, you know, got round to sort of finding out about how it had changed and what the you know, what was new about it. So that was really good. Great. And that one's coming out in May? Yes. Oh well we'll see if there's a nice reaction to that as well. Yes, I hope so. Okay. How has your how has how has being freelance gone for you? Has it been successful? Yeah, I've been really lucky. I've been really lucky. I've been in the right place at the right time. Only a few times, but it's been enough to, to keep me going. And um, this last year has been particularly good. Um, I've had um, three main clients. I've done a couple of bits and pieces for other people as well, but three main people. And the only thing is I do start to think, maybe you know I need to put the feelers out a little bit more just in case one of those clients kind of falls off because right. then that's going to be a third of my, of my income gone. <laughs> so... Um, yeah. So for each client, I mean, is that just one student or is it a, is a group of students? How does it work? Um, well, no, because I'm, I'm doing freelance materials writing. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So um, I do quite a bit of work with the BBC and with the British Council mm -hmm. and also with some magazines um, that are aimed at young learners in Europe, Mary Glasgow magazines. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, yeah, it's good. And you're enjoying the freelance life? Yeah, it works really well for me because I've got two young children, a one's at school, one's at nursery, and so I can kind of juggle it around them. And yeah, it, when I live in Somerset, where there isn't um, much opportunity to do um, a lot of face-to-face um, -face teaching, mm -hmm. so I do do a little bit, but I can you know supplement it with all of this other stuff. So do. you don't miss the classroom entirely because you, you still keep your hand into teaching uh, to some extent. I, yeah, I do miss I do miss it a bit, and I'm now looking at how I can find a way to get back into the classroom right. um, a bit on a bit more of a regular basis but um, yeah it's uh, it's good you know it's, I've, I've learned a lot from what from the work that I've been doing so yeah I do I really enjoy it excellent